YouTube. Okay, I got a question and answer. It's all personal questions. I asked in my Geeks and Beauties group to ask me personal questions. Nothing about YouTube, social media, or anything like that. And the other thing I wanted you to know is that this is my hundredth video. So let's kick this off. Susan Snyder. I don't have her um, Instagram or YouTube information, but I'm going to leave everybody's stuff down below. I think she writes a blog, actually. Um, I'm not sure, but let's get on with it. Okay. What is one thing no one knows about you? Um, that would be, um, at times, I think I possibly could be a lesbian, but I don't want to do anything down there. You know what I mean? Um, maybe a receiver, not a giver. Like, I can handle boobs, but I can't. I don't even know what to do down there. Um, yeah, that's just something that kind of floats inside my mind, and then I go, nah, and I move on. That's that, that's really the only thing, because anything else, I just, I tell people, I don't care, you know. Um, uh, Stephanie Clayton, uh, she does have a YouTube channel, and it's called Stephanie Clayton. And um, she's also on Instagram as that. Uh, what is your favorite meal? My favorite meal is a boneless ribeye with um, either grilled or roasted asparagus. Um, Bethany, I don't know, how am I going to spell her, say her last name? Bethany Gag, Gagne? G-A-G-N-E. And she goes by that on... Um, YouTube also. She does uh, plus size clothing and things like that. Um, what is your favorite book? And my biggest fear. My favorite book I would have to say is The Hobbit. And my biggest fear is like right now at my weight. At, at one point I did um, OD upstairs. And when they came, they, uh, uh, what do you call it? I guess it was hard to get me down the freaking stairs. Um, I weighed more than I do now. Um, so, like, for me, my biggest fear is, like, choking on a sandwich like Mama Cass did upstairs. Like, I hope, oh, that's probably why, one of the reasons why I don't try to sleep in my bed as much. Um... Even though it's, it's, I, can't, I physically can't lay down flat. Um, but even if I got a bed, I would put it downstairs. I would get rid of the sofa and I would put a twin size bed that like raised up and used it as a, a day bed just not to sleep upstairs. Because the fear of dying up there and having them have to take me out and hearing, you know, I, well, I would be dead. I wouldn't hear that. But knowing that these guys are struggling, you know almost like Gilbert Grape kind of thing, you know, cut the side of the house off to get her out. That's, that's my biggest fear. Okay. Jen. Jen goes by Hafina. She's Hafina on Instagram and Hafina on YouTube. Um, she asked a lot of things. What do you find to be the most challenging aspect of your mental health challenges? And what strengths as having a mental illness given you that you don't think you would have otherwise? Um, the challenges of my mental health has always been the medication. Um, they always made me worse. Like you feel good for a few months and then it, you just went downhill. And the weight gain. The weight gain bal ballooned me up to 300 pounds. Um, I did stop taking my medication and right now I'm just on my own. I'm just winging it. Bipolar, just bipolar depression, winging it. I haven't swung like manic in a long time. Uh, I, I'd love to swing manic 
just for a little while. It, I know it's false happiness and I really shouldn't say that. But, um, you know, I might get some shit done. <laughs> um, and the strength that it's given me is... Uh, it keeps... I tr have to keep myself busy. Um, I involve myself in other things. So I don't sit there and get in my head and let all what's going on in here just, you know, bug me out. Um, yeah, am I, when I'm sitting at the computer having fun, am I depressed? Yes, I'm still depressed. But, you know, fake it till you make it, I guess. Um, she also asked, what is one thing in your life you wish you had done differently? Um... For that question, I would have to say, I, you know, she posted this, like, I think last week she asked that question when I posted this. And I would, ha I have been thinking about this question and I really have no regrets because every bad decision I have made, even the worst ones, um, has taught me something. Um... If I had to choose anything, it would be my last husband that I married. He was a... He was a piece of shit. A piece of shit. Um, okay. Laney. Laney is from Zany Laney Wax. Um, and she is the owner of this group. Uh, the Geeks and Beauties. Uh, what drives you to form relationships online and support others as much as you do? Well, I don't get out much. I don't like to be out much. Like, I would, I would like to have a car and have my independence to be able to run to the store, get what I need, and get back home. Um, the only thing that I like to do when I go outside is, like, if I can... I would like to like hit the mosh pits again or something like that because you can get a lot of stress relief out of that by you know slamming into people, but my body won't accept that anymore. So uh, when I go online, um, it's it's the only way that I can interact with people, and um, I just like to support other people, but. There's like a flip side to that. Um, like, I will always have your back if you have mine. Um, so, like, I can only, even in any relationship, and like with all the relationships that I was ever in, you give and give and give. If you get nothing in return, you start to resent. So, um, I'm having to pull back a little bit from some people, um, but uh, I love to support other people, you know, support causes. Um, I want to help you reach your goals, you know. I just, I don't know, it's, I've, I've always been like that, that, that way, um, you know, I, I'll help anybody if they need help, um, if I can. If I have the ability to help them. Um, if not, I'll find somebody who can help them. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Lindsay is... Um, ooh, I should have wrote this shit down. Lindsay is Mommy Wears War Paint on YouTube. Um, what is your favorite DIY project? That would have to... I don't really have a favorite. My Like, my easiest go-to is, like, making soap. Like, I can, like, do that, like, off the top of my head. Um, I mean, I still have to measure and everything like that, but um, that's the one thing, like, I can just basically just go in the kitchen and just do and not have to, like, put together... Like, I already have my recipes and stuff like that. I wouldn't have to put together a recipe... I like any DIY project. Um, Layla. And I believe she goes by... Layla Boo? It's Layla Boo, I believe. 
Okay. How many kiddos? I have three. Um, how many siblings and where do you fall in? Um, my mother had six kids by the time she was 28. Um, she took in another kid. Um, there's a whole story to that. I'm not going to go in there. Um, uh, that'll take too long. Um, and then at 40, she had me. So I was a mistake. Um, obviously, uh, you know, nobody, you know, has all their children and then 12 years later decides to have another one. No, I was a mistake and it's been confirmed by my mother. Um, uh, uh, what is your sign and do I stay, take stock in how it plays in my personality? I'm a Gemini. And I guess I can see it sometimes, um, like the dual personality, but that's a bipolar too. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I, I don't look up my horoscope. My sister does. Um, she's, you know, she's got to look up a horoscope to see what's going to happen for the day. Um, Cara from Mascara Cakes, uh, what would you have for your last meal? My last meal would be a ribeye and some lobster tails. Yep, that would be my last meal. Aiden. Okay, Aiden asks, oh, what is her English professor style? English, like P-R-O-F style. Um, that's on YouTube. Well... Oh, no. If you could meet one celebrity, not from the Vikings, you know, she couldn't let me, she just couldn't let me meet Ragnar. Travis Fimmel, no, no, couldn't meet him. She had to pull the Vikings out of there. Who would you choose and why? I choose Dominic Cooper. He is on that show, uh, Preacher, which is based off of, um, a comic book series. Um, it's directed by Seth Rogen and some other guys. It's super funny. It's funny. It's bloody. You know, they got a vampire in there. And and uh, it's got Ruth Nega as his sidekick. And it is just... If you guys haven't watched it, there's two seasons out there. Watch it. Watch it. Laney... Start watching it because really it needs to be a wax series. Um, okay. Andrea Trombino. I believe she goes by Andrea Trombino on YouTube. Um, if you could meet anyone in this group, who would it be and why? That, that sucks because I would like to meet everybody. Um... Um, that, that's a real hard one. Um, I know I'm kind of, I, I know I'm close to, I don't live far from, there's somebody in Massachusetts in this group, which is where I live. Um, and then there's Bad Kitty Beauty, who used to live in Massachusetts and lives in Vermont, which I love Vermont. And she actually lives in the damn town that I want I want to move to. Um, I just say I, w I would like to meet everyone. At some point, I would like to meet some everyone. Um, that's a you know. That's like I don't know. That's really hard, you know, because you start to form a... Hi, kitty. McGee, you want to come up? You want to say hi? Okay. We're just going to sniff. All right. Are you sticking around? Or what? What are you going to do? Pick a spot. Oh, he always does this. He doesn't commit. He just puts his feet on my legs. All right. Jenny... Um, Jenny, uh, what does she go by on YouTube? Oh, I could be, 
I'd be that fine mommy. I think I think that's what she is. Anyway, I'm going to be leaving it all down below. So you can all go and check out their channels. They're all awesome. and They're all unique and they're all awesome. Um, what is your favorite book? And wh why is it your favorite? Any memories from when you read the book or do you relate to the book? And why do you love it? Okay. My favorite book is The Hobbit. Um, the only way I can relate to it is that, um, you know, like the underdogs can always like pull through and, you know, the adventure in life and, um, there's elves. I love elves. I love elves. Um, um, I used to play the Hobbit game, um. And I played as an elf. Um, um, do I relate? I, you know, I love it because there's elves in it. You know, the whole Lord of the Rings series. Um, yeah, the elves really. Like, I have a little hobbit sword up there. Um, hanging up. Um, so I'm in it for the hobbits <laughs> and the elves. Um. The dwarves are pretty cool, but it's more like the elves. Um, yeah. Can I relate to the book? Only the fact that, you know, like I said, the, you know, the people you don't think can change the world are the ones that are going to change the world. Like the millennials. They're going to make this place a better. They're going to make it better. Because what we got there now, I ain't doing shit. Um, Sherry, uh, Sherry just started her YouTube. It is Sherry P, just the letter P. And on Instagram, she is Gypsy Nurse 66. Where is your ultimate safe place, whether real or emotional? Um, my safe place is in my home. I really, really get uncomfortable if I have to, like, spend the night out of my home. Um, yeah, this is, this is my safe place. Um, this is it. My home. My chair. That's where I feel safest. Um, Dawn from The Cutting Board. Um. She goes, Dawn Cutting on Instagram, The Cutting Board on YouTube. What fairy tale or children's story character do you most relate to in life now as an adult and why? Um, this one was hard, but I chose uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Um, She's kind of mysterious and rebellious at times, um, a loner, and um, she likes to observe and enjoys the little things in life. So, uh, yeah, I would go with Little Red Riding Hood because it's really not what those childhood stories are kind of creepy. Um, like the Muffin Man, he's a pedophile. And I used to sing that song with my kids and I didn't even know that. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Yeah, it's about the, the pedophile down on Drewy Lane or whatever the hell the name of the street was. Okay, um, Christina Sanders. She goes by Christina Sanders, um, on YouTube and, uh, Oh no, wrong. She goes by Fierce Glam Mom. That's what it is, okay. Fierce Glam Mom on Instagram and maybe Christina Sanders on YouTube. I'll leave it all below. Uh, what are your hobbies? Um, 
depends on what I'm in the mood for. Um, DIY projects. Um, I like to do my nails. Um, it's one of my goals is to find another hobby this year. Um, so yeah, that, those are my hobbies, you know, making handmade soap, um, lotion, bath bombs, stuff like that. Um, it, all right, Andrew, he goes by, um, I don't know how to say it, Mal Maltor? Maltador? Um, he's a gamer. He's, he's on YouTube. Um, if you could be in any fantasy world, what, what, which one would it be and why? I would be where the elves are. I would live either in where, um, uh, oh, what's her name? I forget her damn name. Uh, either where the wood, because where the woodland elves live is really beautiful, but the other elves where they live is really beautiful. So wherever the elves are, I'm going. Um, Lisa, she goes by, I think Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Leah Garza is on YouTube and Instagram is, I, I think it's backwards or something like that. Again, I'll leave it below. If you could travel where and why, if I could get my passport back. I would go to Germany to visit a friend that uh, escaped um, uh, Syria because they put a roof over my head when I was in Syria so I would like to go see him um, and I would like to go to like Bali or Tahiti one of those places you know where they got those tiki huts out in the water and you just lay in a hammock because I really think I could get some good sleep in that hammock. Um, I just hope there's no, like, mosquitoes, because then it wouldn't work for me. I'd have to be gone. Um, okay. Marshall. He goes by One True Hazard. Uh, you have now become a super heroine, but have no superpowers. What is your costume? My costume is what I look like. This is my costume. I have no superpowers. Um, so I don't know how I'm some super heroine, but this is, this is me. So this is what I would look like. And Jessica, who goes by Lena7623 on YouTube, and I think maybe on Instagram also, uh, my favorite movie. Um, I have a few. Um, Eat, Pray, Love is one. I know. You don't look at me and think, Eat, Pray, Love? Really? Uh, Dr. Giggles is another one. And the original... Um, well, crap. Now I can't remember the damn name of it. Uh, Changeling. The original ja Changeling movie. So that is it. That is all the questions. And thank, I want to thank everybody that asked me. And if you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments. I will answer. I answer all my, all comments I reply to. So please give me a like and subscribe. And let's take this further because this was my 100th video. Okay, bye. Thank you.